All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders. And she says, Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. You know, I want to go on this quick lesson or quick topic, you know. Basically, the Baltimore 911 system and the backup system, as this article says, are temporary temporarily inoperable for Baltimore uh, City citizens. Uh, Baltimore City uh, Fire Department spokesperson Sam Johnson confirmed Tuesday night, you know. It says, in the event of an emergency, citizens should call 311, you know. Basically, you know, I believe, you know, that they're doing test runs, you know, because pretty soon it's going to be a time out here where people aren't going to be able to call 911, 311, you know, or anything, you know, call the cops, the police, or fire, you know, they're not going to be able to call anything, you know, in the near future, you know, I wanted to get um, a precept, you know, for this, you know, um, this is 2nd Ezra in the Apocrypha, uh, chapter 15, and I'm going to start at uh, 9. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, which is people is Israel, the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, they're led as a flock to the slaughter. It says, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, which the, America is the new, you know, Egypt. It says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fall, fail through the blasting in hell, and with fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and, and their destruction draweth nigh. Okay? And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And that's what that's what will happen, man, when when this uh nine one one system and everything is gone, you know, you're gonna have people fighting against another. You never know what what the heck people are gonna be doing. And it says and swords in their hands. And the modern day sword nowadays, you know, other than the nuclear missiles, is these guns, you know? So people are going to be fighting one, one against another with swords in their hands, man, the guns. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the courses of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, you know, because they're going to block off these cities, man, you know, and it's all planned out, you know. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with, with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You know, what's going on in, the, in Venezuela right now is going to come to America, man. You know, and, and you're not going to be able to stop it, man. You know. This is just nothing but a test run. You know, the people, uh, you know, they're, they're not in panic mode right now because things are still going on, you know, right now. But the the, the so-called white man is continuing to do uh, things behind the scenes, man. And they're moving forward with these prophecies, man. You know? But with that, I want to say Salawam.